Hi, welcome to Cara's house. Today we're going to be uh, cleaning and waxing my Dura Ace cassette and this brand new chain. Um, <clears throat> I moved to wax um, last year probably sometime during the summer. Um, so let's get into it. So we're going to be using this uh, Ultra 7000S ultrasonic cleaner. Um, you don't have to use that one. This is just the one I use. Um, we've got a tray there to put our stuff in, uh, container there, or like a bath to put in the cleaning product. The cleaning product I'm going to be using today as I drop it is um, Morgan Blue Professional Chain Cleaner. You, again, you can use whatever chain cleaner you like. I'm not sponsored by them. That's just what we're going to be using today. Um, moving on to the wax. You might have seen my video where I made this. This has been setting um there's some finger marks in it just because i've been testing it but um as you can see it's um it produces a nice coating it's soft yeah and that will be lubricating our chain and cassette um along the way um right so um you may notice that my jaw ace Cassette has got a little bit, um, it looks like the paint's come off or the electroplating. That's because I cleaned it for too long and um, stripped up, started to strip that electroplating off. I'm sure it's electroplating, but it started coming off anyway. So, as you can see, it's not very dirty. Um, that's the kind of residue that you're going to get when you're running wax. And there's the rest of the pieces. Yeah, that's just been lying there since I since I took it apart, and um, I was going to build my new bike, which is just behind me in pieces at the moment. And um, we're almost there now. Probably this video and uh, a video just to look at what it's going to be like when I put it together, and um, then we'll be good. So what I'll do is I'll get everything prepared and then um, we'll get on with the video. Okay, so we filled this uh, with our chain cleaner. It's probably about half a bottle and that's the indoor. That's the uh, lamp oil that I use for the chain wax. Um, as you can see, it's probably not up to, I don't know if you can see that there's a max line level. It's probably mm, maybe five to ten mil below it. I don't normally feel like we'll just leave that in there um, until we're ready. This is on cook so our wax is going to start to melt um, so we can coat our chain and our cassette and our cassette pieces. So what we've got down here on this particular one um, we have uh, 90 seconds 600 seconds, three minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, and then we've got these fan um, symbols. I'll just look them up and see what they mean. 180 is standard, 300 a bit longer if it's not clean, 480 if you're cleaning lots of things at once, 90 is very light, and 600 is um, to intensify the cleaning effect. Note, uh, things can come loose, like screws in a uh, specs or something if you're cleaning that because the ultrasonic will vibrate and create everything loose so if you've never seen one of these work before um, I'm just going to switch it on and we'll see if anything awesome so what I'm going to do first is set it for I'll set it for 90 because they don't actually look that dirty yeah so, first one, let's chuck it in, plop, okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, that's now stopped, um, liquid still looks clear, so we'll take it out and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so here it is, fresh out of the cleaner. Um, that's pretty good. 
It's probably cleaner than I could get it by hand. A little bit there, but that's I can wipe that off. And the back. That's just 90 seconds. Um, I'm sure if I left it in there a bit longer, I could uh, get it cleaner, but um, that's pretty clean, to be fair. Let's stick the rest in and get them clean. See you soon. Okay, this one has come out. Yeah, from its 90 second bath. Bit of dirt there, just blow it. That's the back. Looks good. So we just got these to go. Just set them up for 90 seconds. Okay, we're back. So we've cleaned the cassette. I've hung it through um, with some cable ties and I'll be dipping that into the wax. And then I'll be hanging it up, up here, for it to drip down, yeah? Just to cool down, because it'll be quite hot when it comes off. Okay, let's get on with our wax dip. So, take the lid off. That wax is reasonably warm, as you can see. And in my cassette goes. Then I'll just slosh it around a bit. Sure it all gets a good coat. Um, it's just on warm at the moment, it switched off when, when the wax was hot enough. So what I'll do is I'll pull that out, hang it up on the drip drip stand. There it is, make sure it's dripping into the container, which it is, just need to put that back a bit. So that will um I'll just hang there and sort itself out. So let's move on to the chain. We're going to, uh, as you can see, it's factory in its packet. Um, I'll open that up, put it in the in the sonic cleaner, and we'll be right back. Okay, chain is now sitting in the sonic cleaner. I'm going to give it 180 seconds, uh, which is a standard clean, and just see what happens from there. Okay, so we've finished. I actually put it on for another eight minutes after that, just to make sure all the stuff had gone. As you can see, the water is not a nice blue. It's a murky gray, greeny blue gray. Um, once I can fish this out, there we go. I also put in there some uh, quick links at the back, um, which I'll be putting it together with. So, We'll shake that out. We'll uh, dry it off and we'll have a look. Okay, so after 12 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner, we have chain void of lube. It's about six links, six or seven links longer than our previous chain. Uh, you can see it hanging up just there. I just measured it for length. Uh, don't worry about the background. Um, here we have our cassette drying. You can see the wax is drying. I've just turned it around uh, 180 degrees so you can see. So we've got a nice layer of wax um, on there. You can see nice and shiny. That'll be perfect once that's cold. Um, this chain is actually quite warm still from the ultrasonic cleaning. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just pop it into the wax and then pull it out and I'll probably put a cable tie through it. I'll pull it out and then run it along these nails uh, to dry and then that's pretty much the end of it. And um, what I'll have to do then is uh, put it on the frame um, with the cassette and uh, get it to the right length. But that's pretty much the, all, all there is to it. Um, as you can see, this isn't a nice blue at all. It is, uh, remember it was nice and blue when we put it in? So that's kind of a horrid color, but it's still gonna work. I won't change it until, well, till, till it's not cleaning very well, but. So uh, that one can go off. We can close the lid and all we've got to do left is dip our chain in there. I'll just get that ready and uh, 
and then we'll carry on. Okay, chain's ready, so I'm just going to dip it in. I'm just going to go in there, as it is, like so. Probably, oops, probably leave it there for a little bit. Uh, put it on cook just to heat it up some more. I'm going to hold this cable tie and um, basically we'll just let it let any air bubbles come out. Give it a wobble, you know, pick it up, put it down. It's like dipping a candle. There we go. So I'll just dip that and then we'll put it up on those nails. It will cool down. It will probably get this uh, candle effect, yeah, where it's cool. But um, that is basically all there is to it. Um, check it out. It's uh, good stuff once you make it. Really lasts a long time. Doesn't pick up dirt. Smooth shifting like you wouldn't believe. Just going from, um, what did I use to use? Finish line lubes. Um, just looking behind me there, finish line. Wet lube, dry lube. I then went to finish line ceramic wax. Um, and then I started making my own because it was too expensive. So, uh, yeah, smooth shifting like you wouldn't, you would not dream. Quiet, smooth. Awesome is the only thing I can say. So, um, once I can, uh, I'll just put that. Well, now I've dropped everything in. Oh, well, I'll fish it out. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, not many more videos to go, as I say. Um, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, leave your comments below. Um, awesome. Take care, everyone. See you on the next video. Bye.